queen you always keep it g okay so i'm really enjoying like filming on my phone y'all i just feel like i'm gonna be really consistent um yeah it feels really good i've been watching like a lot of videos on like you know how to well i already knew you can like you know make youtube videos on your phone but i just feel like i'm not really taking advantage of my tools basically because i have an iphone i have the iphone 11 and i'm like why am i not using it because i feel like the quality of it actually looks better than my camera y'all which is crazy i have a sony um a5000 or like the 5100 i forgot which one it is but it's good quality it goes up to um it records in 1080p so i mean it's pretty good but also my phone does it too but that whole transferring situation is definitely um very time consuming but anyway y'all i'm starting off this vlog uh, in the parking lot of <laughs> cvs so i'm about to go in cvs and i wanted to show you guys like what they have because for some reason like this one that i went to like usually they don't be having nothing y'all which is very sad it's like i always leave disappointed from this one it's like the stuff that i be wanting from here they don't be having it in stock it's like the shelves be empty but the like last weekend actually was it last weekend yeah last weekend i had came here it was like randomly i wasn't really expecting nothing i was just like you know out browsing i actually want to get some wine y'all but i don't know if they're gonna have some because the last time i had looked in here they didn't have it's like the options were slim but like they had stocked up on their beauty and like um beauty products like skincare products too it was like stuff that i never seen in cvs y'all and low-key it was kind of giving like beauty supply stores so i was like hold on what happened like i don't know if i didn't get the memo that cvs was doing this but i'm gonna show y'all in a few minutes but really i came here to um i really wanted some wine but um i need some more deodorant i should have came here earlier today but i ended up cooking some food i made some like turkey spaghetti which i plan on eating when i get back usually i would not come out of the house after i cook like i don't know i don't know why i'm like that but like yeah i will be inside but i'm so glad i did cook some food because chick-fil-a is like not that far and like i was really tempted to get some chick-fil-a just because it's like easier and more convenient and i you know sometimes i just don't feel like cooking but i did cook so i was like yeah let me just go out to cvs real quick um also too i wanted to pick up another body brush that's if they have one in here but um i think i had mentioned in the last vlog video that i had ordered an african net sponge it actually came so when i get well when i go back into my um my neighborhood i'm gonna pick up the package i was hoping they would deliver it at the door but yeah today they didn't do that but yeah i'm about to go in here real quick and i'm just going to show you guys like what they have So I'm back in my car. I forgot to turn my car off. But um <laughs> so y'all they really did not even have um that much stuff. I don't know what in the world happened. I forgot to look down like an extra aisle, but like I I think it was like the hair care stuff, but I didn't really need nothing from down there. 
but I feel like the last time I had went in there, they had more stuff. But um, I usually don't even like coming to this one, which is crazy that I'm even here. The customer service sucks, y'all. <laughs> like, I usually do not go to places like if the customer service sucks. Um, but yeah. And tell me why I thought that my car got stolen. Like, I really need to go home, seriously. And they did not have wine there. Well, they didn't have the wine that I wanted. Um, the shelf was looking like from last week. But I did get things from out of there. Um, cause the main thing that I needed to get was deodorant, honestly, like, cause I didn't have any more deodorant. Like it was touching the plastic rim for my deodorant. And I forgot to mention too, I should have showed y'all the type of deodorant that I use. Well, I use like different ones. I've been trying to go towards like the natural deodorants, but it's kind of hard to find a really good one. Like it really is. Um, so I've been trying the Dove one. It's like the 0% aluminum. So it's supposed to be like on the natural side. So I've been using that one. It's okay. But I like for my deodorants to be dry. If that makes sense. Like some of the, the natural deodorants, they be like wet kind of. And I hate that. I don't like any type of like wetness underneath my arms unless I'm like sweating. But not when I'm putting on my deodorant. I like a dry deodorant. But I did find one in there. I'm going to try out. Well... I've used the Hello brand before. Hold on, let me show y'all. And I actually found like this, um, this like intimate cleansing cream. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute, but this is the deodorant that I got. So I've used the Hello brand before and it's really good, but I like to try different stuff. So I did get the Sage and Eucalyptus one. It has shea butter in it, but this is like a natural deodorant. And it's like the dry kind too, which is hard to find. But tell me why y'all that native brand, they they make um deodorants. I think I've had their de deodorants before, but honestly, I do not remember it being almost $15. Like the native deodorant in there, I don't know if I had filmed it or not, y'all, but they wanted like $13, basically $14 for the deodorant i'm like no because they're not even all that i mean it's a good deodorant but this one is like a really good dupe to the native one the hello brand so yeah i don't know what this one smells like i should have smelled it in the store i didn't even think about it but i've used their deodorants before i think the last one i had was like the coconut one i can't remember what scent but i know it's like coconut it has the brown top on it um what else what other one did they have in there didn't they have like the charcoal one too i think i've tried that one before but yeah i just went on with this one this one was like six dollars or something which is reasonable y'all i'm not spending no 15 dollars on no deodorant not for the native brand uh-uh it's like they okay but not all that but <laughs> i was that little boozy um uh, meme had popped in my head i was like they not even all that this bitch is not all that <laughs> And I'm mad because I've been bucked up about this bitch. This bitch is regular. So this is the intimate cleansing cream that I had found. I'm not even really sure how to use this, y'all. I need to read the directions, but it's the CVS brand. It's the CVS health brand. It says front to back. That's all I was like. When I was reading this in the store, I was like, what? Front to back. So it says intimate cleansing cream no rent so that's what really stood out to me i'm gonna have to try this but it's supposed to balance out your ph um it's hypoallergenic paraben free so and it's cruelty free as well it had it on the back i should have read the back but i'm gonna have to see how to use this so it says cvs health intimate cleansing cream is a soothing lather free formula that can that can be used to cleanse the entire intimate area front to back so the directions um for it is of course external use y'all you're not supposed to be washing up in there or whatever but it says apply a small amount of cleansing cream on a tissue or gently wipe the external area front to back no need to rinse what so that's what really stood out to me because what you mean i don't have to rinse this off so it says it can be used to clean smooth soothe and moisturize your intimate area. Safe for everyday use. I'm gonna have to try this out, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna try it out when I get home or whatever, but I do plan on going to the Walgreens near my house as well. We're just gonna go there, I guess, 
just to see what they have. I'm kind of like trying to prevent from having to go to the grocery store, y'all. I hate going to the grocery store, especially around this time because it's like currently like it's like a little bit after six o'clock and right before I even got in the car, y'all, it was like a it sounded like it was about to be a whole car accident. <laughs> So I was like, let me hurry up and get home because like I don't even want to be out right now. Usually I'd be in the house. But yeah. So we're just gonna go to the Walgreens real quick and just to see what they have. I haven't been there in like probably like about two weeks. So yeah. Okay, so I just got back in the car. I did go inside the Walgreens. I'm still in the parking lot. I'm ready to go home now. <laughs> I really don't be out that long, but I'm ready to go home. They didn't have nothing in there, but I did get the wine. They had the one that I wanted in there and it was on sale too. I was tempted to get, I was very, very tempted to buy another bottle of the Olay um body wash y'all because they had it on sale it was like 749 or something with your um the cvs car y'all i was very very tempted to get it and tell me why the native brand was in there too they had the body wash it's like a big thing of body wash y'all it was only like eight or nine dollars i believe but why is the body wash no why is the deodorant more than the body wash that's what i'm trying to figure out because that was crazy i don't know if it's just cvs or what to me, I feel like Walgreens is kind of high, y'all, but like they do be having the sales. Like if you are um a Walgreens member, I got both, but like I feel like I save more at Walgreens than I do at CVS. So yeah, it's like even though Walgreens is a little high or whatever, they do be having sales. But I don't know why CVS was so high this this time around, but I'm ready to go in, y'all. I was looking at the um some parts in there I couldn't even film because I was in there for a quite a while. Well, not that long, but some parts I couldn't film because I was down the um <laughs> I had went down the makeup aisle, but it was like near the nail stuff. I just like to look at the nails and like the um the lashes just to see if they got something new out or whatever. So I was just like skimming over there and so this black guy it's like a it was like an older black guy i'm looking at the nails and he like peeks around the corner like he was like looking it's almost like he was about to ask me something but he was like looking and i'm thinking he was trying to get the associate's attention because she was down the aisle too she was like right beside me like restocking stuff so i'm looking at her and i'm looking like is he was he trying to get her attention but he did like two times like he kept looking and he was like looking to see what i was looking at i'm like listen and then he was like walking right in front of me when I was trying to go to like the wine aisle. I was like, let me hear up and get out of here. It's time to go home. But yeah, that was really weird. I was like, I couldn't even film that part because he was like all in my business. So yeah, um, I didn't buy anything else from my from out of uh, Walgreens. I just got the the wine and what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to go home, y'all. I'm going to try out. I'll probably see y'all, like, later. After, well, yeah, probably, like, after I eat. I don't know. But I do want to try that little um, cleansing thing or whatever that I had found at CVS. But, yeah, I'm ready to get back home, y'all, because, like, the traffic and stuff is crazy. Like, I hate driving when it's, like, afternoon traffic. Or I don't know if it's just me. I just I be having road rage. I guess it's just me. Yeah, it's me. So I finally made it home. I forgot to grab my package um, before I got to like got inside. So I had to go back out. So now I'm back in. 
but yeah i'll probably open up the package so so that you guys can see what the um the african net sponge look like if you've never seen one but i'm about to heat up some spaghetti some turkey spaghetti that i had made so i used the rigatoni noodles i was kind of torn between using the spaghetti noodles and the rigatoni i feel like at some age like you gotta upgrade to like the regular i feel like these are like adult noodles honestly <laughs> the rigatoni because like the spaghetti noodles y'all be giving like very childlike i don't know is that just me but i made turkey spaghetti with um just some traditional um pasta sauce but yeah and i have some mozzarella cheese as well that i'm going to put on it and i have parmesan cheese as well but it's like the the grated kind like the store bar kind or whatever it's not fresh but it's still good but yeah this is what the spaghetti sauce looks like it looks so good i'm kind of mad that i had to leave out because i like eating my food like when it's like freshly done but i couldn't do it this time but i mean i could just heat it up and i haven't really ate anything like all day i literally just tried a i tried the keto chaffles y'all <laughs> i was making them last night so the first time i made them was like the other day and it was actually pretty good it's like use the eggs with the cheese like um shredded cheese so i borrowed some mozzarella shredded cheese or whatever so last night i was like let me try to make like a um it's like a pizza chaffle basically but i didn't want to use i wanted to use something else so i had some almond flour i believe like some people use almond flour because it kind of gives it like pizza crust dough or whatever it was okay but something about it was kind of off and i feel like it was the almond flour honestly from what from what you know what i was tasting but i had to like kind of tweak it a little bit because the videos i was seeing y'all they was not using no type of seasoning and i was like I was like, nah, let me add some garlic powder, some onion powder, and paprika. So I did that. It was okay. I mean, I'm going to have to try it again. I still have some like left over. It's like one or two. But I actually have this waffle maker that I just got recently. Because I have like a bigger waffle maker. But I feel like I need a smaller one. But yeah, this is what I used to like make them in. It's really easy. It's different. I feel like I like it better without the almond flour, honestly. But yeah, I tried those. They're actually really good. Um, so I've been doing kind of like a keto. It's like a keto breakfast because usually I don't eat lunch, honestly. And so basically I just eat like two times a day for whatever reason. It's like I just don't be hungry. But usually in the morning time, I'd be like starving and i've been really trying to cut back on like buying fast food and then for dinner that's when i like really really cook so this is definitely going to be my dinner for tomorrow night too and i really really wanted some wing style like the urge was killing me so bad like i really wanted to put in a doordash order for um for wing style these are the chaffles they look a little burnt, but it's because the cheese. And I use the um, I use the marinara sauce, like pizza sauce, well spaghetti sauce, to put into the batter or whatever. But it's what it looked like. They're actually pretty good. It's not bad. It's like a healthier, you know, alternative or whatever. It's really just one. I use one egg. And then I do like a um, like a fist full of like mozzarella cheese. That's really the only cheese I've tried it with. I haven't tried it with the other cheeses, so I might try it with like a different cheese. But yeah, this is the mozzarella cheese that I got. But I'm gonna use it today just to put on my spaghetti with my pasta. Okay, so I had melted, I like my cheese melted onto my like pasta or whatever. Usually I would bake it like a um, pasta bake, but I don't feel like doing it tonight. 
and I'm gonna top it with some parsley. I always do that just mainly for like the aesthetic y'all but I just want it to look you know I want it to look good like restaurant style so yeah that's pretty much how I'm gonna do that and I just use some like ground turkey meat this is what it looks like in the pan like the sauce is like top tier okay the noodles um I kind of messed up on the noodles honestly and it's because I had to leave out I need to get like a a drainer or like a strainer i don't have a strainer which is crazy i don't know why i don't have one but yeah i kind of i needed to like drain out the noodles but they're still good i'm i really should not be drinking this juice but i just could not help it like i usually don't buy drinks like this but it's a guava pineapple um i had the passion fruit one too i was kind of torn between this one and um the passion fruit one but i got the guava pineapple but I'm about to have this with my food. I usually don't get these type of drinks, y'all, because it has like a lot of sugar or whatever. But I feel like this is um better than like the other carton drinks or whatever. Like the I think it's like Tropicana. I don't know, but they those have like a lot of sugar in it too. But yeah, I'm gonna have this. It's so good. Oh my god, the exotic flavor. It just tastes like you sitting on an exotic beach, basically. But yeah, I'm about to have this i should have shook it up did i shake it up i can't remember but this is so good oh my god i haven't had that juice in so long but it's so good like if you like fruity well yeah it's kind of fruity but not really y'all like i i like drinks that's like mango like you can never go wrong with mango, guava, and pineapple. I don't like pineapple by itself, but I like it with something like, it gotta be like pineapple, mango, or like guava, pineapple, not by itself. I can't do the, the pineapple by itself, but yeah, anything with like mango or guava or passion fruit, it's like, I'm all over it. Ooh, that juice like really touched me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to heat this up, but it's still good. Like, I can't wait to eat this tomorrow. I'll probably eat this tomorrow for lunch. I'm not really sure. That's just like if I'm hungry around lunchtime. But the turkey meat, y'all. The turkey meat just it tastes way, like pasta tastes way better with turkey meat. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to open up the Amazon package that I got, the African Net Sponge. And I wanted to give y'all like a little update on that Intimate Cleansing Cream. So I just used it and it's kind of, I don't even know what to, like how to explain it, but like, it just feels like a cream that you like wipe. It said wipe front to back. That's exactly what I did, right? And I was like, this feel kind of off. Like I never used a product like that before. So I don't really know how I feel about it. But oddly, um, like I feel clean. Like <laughs> it did something. Like I'm not really sure exactly what it did. But it definitely did something, which is like, I'm kind of surprised. The only thing is it has like an off type of smell. It's not bad, but it's just like a... I don't even know how to explain the smell, but this is what it looks like. It's like very, very creamy. It's like white looking. And so it said, put it on a tissue. I use a paper towel because I just didn't feel like a tissue would have did the job, whatever, because of the consistency of it. But yeah, I used a paper towel and I just kind of like folded it and I put like a little dollop of this on the tissue. Yeah, and then I wipe front to back. And yeah, like somehow it really did. It feels like clean down there, which is crazy. I'm like, what's in this? But like how? Because you don't have to rinse this off. So it's the CVS Intimate Cleansing Cream. 
And you can find this, of course, like in the um, like the feminine hygiene area. I believe it was at the bottom. So it was like, it's like one of them products that you probably will not see if you're, if you're not looking down. So try to check like that bottom row. I forgot what else was next to this, but yeah, this is kind of crazy. I'm like, okay, I might have to use it like one more time. The deodorant, y'all, I really like this one, the sage and um, eucalyptus. I think I'm going to start getting this one. But for some reason, this one, I guess I got like a defected one. When I took the top off, you know, it's like a little piece or whatever that's on it, like protecting the, the deodorant. Like some of it had came off. So it, was, it wasn't like a, a clean slate of deodorant. I'm thinking about taking it back, but I don't know. Because I mean, it was like a lot of deodorant though that was like on the thing. I don't know. I'm, I might take it back. I'm not sure. I don't even know if they would take that back anyway because I did use it because I needed some deodorant. But this is the deodorant that I just got finished using. But it's the Dove 0% Aluminum. This one is in the scent Coconut and Pink Jasmine. It smells really, really good. Yeah, it has like a very, very clean scent. This one's really, really good. But I just wanted to try a different scent or whatever. But yeah, the only thing I don't like about it, it kind of gives it gives off like a wet, slightly dry, not like a all the way like a gel type of deodorant. I hate gel deodorants, like. But this one is more so like on the wet side, and I'm guessing because it is aluminum free or whatever. But it's kind of hard to find like a dry deodorant that's not aluminum that's like cruelty free. But yeah, I love the scent of this. I forgot which other one they had. This one also has no alcohol in it too. So I'm gonna open up. Let's see, wow, this is like really packed in here. I forgot what this packaging is called, but I think it's like the vacuum type of packaging. I forgot to sell our name, y'all. I'll try to leave the Amazon link like in the description box of like this exact um, African sponge, but they have so many on there, honestly. Like I just had to skim through it because I wanted mine like really, really fast. So some of them, like one of them would have came like next week sometime and I wasn't trying to wait that long. So you gotta like really skim through it to see which one, but I specifically wanted a black one. So this is the one that I got. Hopefully it's the same quality of the one that I had before. And I got that one from off of Amazon too. I believe that one was like, either like green or pink or something. I don't know. I didn't want like a color. I just want like a black one this time. Yeah, it's the same quality. Um, this one right here, yeah, I'll try to leave the link to it because this was like Amazon's choice. So it had like a, a lot of reviews as well. like. A lot of stars so it's not as long as the one that I've got before off of Amazon I'm not really sure if they have the like the size of it it's long but I've had a longer one like these things be coming like really long even though it's stretchy like I've had one that I had to cut in half basically like you can actually cut this in half if you wanted to share with somebody, you could actually do that. But if you want to use this specifically just to, um, you know, to get your back or whatever, you can. But I am going to cut off like a little piece of this because I want to use it like on my face to exfoliate. So that's what I plan on doing. I wish it was a little bit longer, honestly, because I thought that I was going to have enough to do almost like a washcloth size. <laughs> Probably like about this size. I thought it was going to be long enough to do that, but I guess not. And I believe this one was like $10. It was like 10 something, including the tax and the shipping. Well, I don't know if I paid for shipping or not. I'm not sure. But I'm going to cut off a small piece of this. I'm kind of sad that I can't cut off a bigger piece. They do have some that's like in a pack too. You can get some that's like... It's like about $14 for like three of them in the pack. 
but it's kind of hard to find the black ones like all black ones in a pack usually it comes like pink like a lime green color or like blue but i didn't want to get a color on this time so yeah i just plan on using this like to exfoliate my face y'all because this thing right here it definitely gives like get your skin really really soft um i think i'm gonna start using the net sponge and then i'm gonna give my exfoliating gloves a break or whatever but this one like really really does the job okay so it's currently the next day i forgot what the last clip was about i feel like it was about when i was unboxing well showing you guys the african net sponge that i plan on using today um today i plan on doing like a mask um i'm, I'm gonna show you guys the turmeric mask that i found from off of amazon that's like really really good um the skincare the unseen skincare video that i had filmed but i deleted it i was actually showing it in there but i don't know i should have just went on and uploaded it but i just feel like um it could have been better so i do plan on refilming it but i'll probably show you guys the the turmeric mask i, I know i want to do a mask on my skin today because i haven't done a mask in a while but i kind of wanted to do the um a clay mask too like the indian healing clay mask i don't have that specific one um there's like another one but it's kind of like the same thing honestly it's like the bentonite clay mask i actually have two but i may use that today i don't really know which one i want to do and i play i had planned on filming makeup content today because i haven't done like makeup content on my channel in a while or just like in general but i forgot to wash my my makeup brushes i I had planned on doing them yesterday but i just didn't get to it and i wanted to do it last night but it, that didn't happen um so when i get up in a few minutes i, I plan on just washing my makeup brushes real quick because i don't use a lot of brushes because i don't really do my makeup every single day it's just like whenever i feel like filming some type of makeup content or um i don't know and plus i, I kind of wanted to um take some pictures as well like i haven't really been taking any cute pictures and i'm like i really need to start back doing that but um i do plan on taking more like picture content or whatever because i want to redo my my beauty page for my instagram and I've just been like learning a lot of things about, um, I literally just got finished watching a, a YouTube video of, her name is like Dominique A. She's been on YouTube for a minute, y'all. Like, she's like an OG. Um, but yes, um, when I was on my YouTube feed or whatever, I seen her video pop up and it mentioned something about, like the thing that stuck up, stuck out to me about the video, it was like a get ready with me video. But basically, she was talking about ways to get paid sponsorships. She was talking about um, how to, um, you know, work with brands or whatever. And some of the things that she was mentioning, like, I already knew about. But it was, like, some other things, too, she was talking about. Um, about, you know, the brands paying you, you know, with your work, basically. Because that's, like, a whole thing, too. Especially with Black creators, y'all. It's, like, sometimes they begin, like, looked over. And sometimes we got to put in, like, more work or whatever to be respected, I guess you could say. And um, what else she was talking about? Oh, she was talking about it's not really about, you know how some people think it's about subscribers and views, but it's really not. It's just, like, when you're working with a brand, they just want to make sure that you're bringing in some type of sales. And this is why you need to be putting your price out there like you got to think about how much money they're going to be making because some, sometimes people try to like lowball you is like um trying to pay you like pay you under especially if you don't know the game basically so this is why i'm like really trying to um i really want to do content creation but of course it's like you got to really um look into it first 
because I want to start getting paid on uh, paid sponsorship. So I really need to figure out, you know, how to go about doing it. Because there's some things that still like, it's like some missing information that I didn't know before that I'm learning about now. But yeah, because like some people, they make it seem like really, really easy. I feel like it is, but it's just like, you know, the consistency and the type of content that you are creating. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what my morning consisted of. I haven't ate anything yet. I usually don't eat breakfast, which I need to really stop doing. I forgot to put my scarf on last night and I'm like so disappointed. So now I feel like I'm gonna have to like redo it. I may just wet it in the shower and then put some conditioner on it. I'm not gonna shampoo it. I really need to um do the purple shampoo and let it sit on for like 20 minutes just to like refresh my blonde or whatever. I think I may do that today. Yeah, I may do that while I'm like washing my makeup brushes. Cause I've really been like itching to do makeup content, but I haven't done it yet. And I really want to, um, today I actually want to try to see if I can find the elf brow lift. I really want that. And I was hoping I was going to see it yesterday in CVS, but, or Walgreens, but no, it's like their elf section don't be looking. It's like, I feel like, I guess they just don't be restocking and stuff. I don't know. But even, like, they had Nyx in there. It's, like, not restocked. It hasn't been restocked in, like, probably a year. That's what it seemed like. Because every time I go in there, it's, like, nothing. But, yeah, I probably, um... But I would have to go to Target to see if I can find the, um, brow lift. Because I don't think anywhere else... I can probably try Walmart, but I don't feel like going to Walmart. Like, no. The la my last trip to Walmart was so ghetto. I was just like, uh-uh. And I had went at night, but it's only because um, it was like an emergency. I needed a vacuum cleaner because my vacuum cleaner had went out. Um, It's like one of those small vacuum cleaners. I actually need to throw it away because it's like still sitting in my trunk. But yeah, I had to go to Walmart. And I usually do not be driving like out at night, especially not going to Walmart. And... um. Yeah, it was so ghetto. I was like, let me hear up and go back home. I was like, so glad to be back home. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm about to get up. I'm going to show you guys how I um, wash my makeup brushes. I had got like a new container for my makeup brushes, like just to sit on my counter in my bathroom. But I wanted to redo or like reorganize my bathroom. I've seen this little TikTok, um, not a TikTok, what am I saying? It was like on Pinterest. I'm trying to figure out where I seen it at. It was like on Pinterest, but it's like a Dollar Tree hack for organizing your medicine cabinet. And I bought this stuff, y'all. Surprisingly, I was able to find the items at the Dollar Tree. It's like those um, metal or magnetic clips. It's like metal clips that's usually in like the school supply section. So I got two packs of those. And it's the other thing is like these cups, like these like slender squared cups like party cups I guess that's usually in like the party supply section but it's more so like I'm guessing it's like um almost like special occasions because you know how like the Dollar Tree be having like those clear stuff the clear plastic um cups are like containers or whatever but yeah it's that and then she clipped it onto the cup or whatever and then you put it into your medicine cabinet and I actually have one. Um, the design of it is kind of weird, y'all, because it's like, why is it right there? Because it has like a mirror on it. But I don't know. I'll show y'all in a few minutes. But yeah, I plan on doing that today. But I want to spray paint the metal clips black, like matte black. So yeah, I may do that today. I don't know um, if that's going to work out. current oral hygiene routine 
and there's something new it's like a contraption i got from off of amazon but i wanted to share with you guys these native um y'all i was talking real bad about native yesterday but <laughs> They really do have good products, y'all. It's just a deodorant. I just can't. Um, I don't understand why it's thirteen dollars, like basically fifteen dollars for something a deodorant. But I have been using these native. Um, there's these are like toothpaste tablets. So it came with sixty tablets. Um, I actually had two of these. They're really good. Like I don't. I never see anybody talk about these a lot. But it's called Wild Mint. I don't remember the other. Um, flavor that they had but yeah basically um they're called toothpaste tablets of course native is like a more healthier brand but it's fluoride free so if you do want like an alternative for like you know like a natural um toothpaste which is really hard to find like a really good one y'all i do have another one um the hello this one is really good too um i've had this for a while but um i use it like here and there but I got it because it's the activated charcoal um, toothpaste, but it has fresh mint with coconut oil. And um, it says epic whitening, cause you know, charcoal, activated charcoal can like help whiten your teeth or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's epic whitening fluoride toothpaste, which is kind of hard to find like a whitening toothpaste that does not have fluoride in it. So I do have two that do have fluoride y'all. Cause I'd be like going back and forth cause I, I don't know, but um, these are really good, y'all. So basically, you just pop one in your mouth. You could you could use one or two tablets. I'm just show y'all what it look like, but it kind of looks like a pill bottle. But this is what the tablet looks like. It's really small, but yeah, you just put it in your mouth, chew it. And then um, kind of wait for it to dissolve a little bit. Don't swallow it because it's like that's the toothpaste and then you brush your teeth. But I do find that um, I feel like this is more so like when you're like on the go. But sometimes I do like what I just did a few minutes ago. I mix like regular toothpaste with this. So I use one tablet. I put it in my mouth and then I put, you know, toothpaste on my toothbrush and brush my teeth and it tastes so good, like, oh my God, the wild mint is like really good. But this is like my second bottle of these. When I had first discovered them, I think I got these from like Walgreens. It was the Walgreens I had went to yesterday. And for whatever reason, they were like on sale. So it was like four or like $5. So I got two of them because I wanted to try something new. And I've been using these for like a while. So these are really good if you're interested in a fluoride free toothpaste but like i said i feel like it's better for like during the day you know when you want to like just freshen up a little bit but you can use it you know in the morning time like when you're first just brushing your teeth but i just recently picked up the crest pearl health advanced whitening um power toothpaste i usually go towards like whitening toothpaste but i, I really want to stay away from like fluoride toothpaste y'all I, I really want to stick to just regular um toothpaste but for some reason it's like when i get used to using this it'd be hard to find in the store so like the store that i do go to what else okay so i do have the advanced white this one is not so taste like it doesn't taste really good but you could probably use one of these just you know just for some flavor but i do not like the way this tastes but you know it really helps with like whitening your teeth but it's just that baking powder part that i just cannot um take it doesn't even really even taste like mint honestly it's like the baking powder i mean not baking powder the baking soda in it just really overpowers the mint so i use this like sparingly but um, this new little contraption thing that I had got from off of Amazon, y'all. My first impression of this, like I'm traumatized because <laughs> this is my first time. Well, it was like my first time using like a, um, it's a water pick flosser. So you put the water down here in this thing. I usually just fill mine up and just like use it when the water is gone. And it doesn't take that long for it to, um, you know, for the water to come out of it like in one use so i just go ahead and just like you know do a really good flossing with it but my first impression of this y'all i still have a bruise 
on my lip from using this the first time. So I was like really traumatized. So it took me like a while just to to use it or whatever. I just have like regular floss picks or whatever. But I really wanted to try the water pick flosser. And you actually charge this. It says charge for a while. And I have like an outlet like right here where I can like charge it up whenever I need to. But it has different buttons on here as well. So you can adjust the pulse of it. So you can do soft, normal. I feel like all of them are like really intense, honestly. Like <laughs> when I first did it, y'all, the water had shot because I didn't know how to use it. I didn't know you had to like actually, you know, hold it to your mouth and then turn it on. So when the water shot out, like it really bruised my lip. My lip was like almost swollen right here. But my, my skin is like sensitive. So I don't know if, you know, it was just me or what. But like the water really did um, bruise my lip, which I still have a mark from. But yeah, this is really good if you want like a really good cleanse. Like um, if you um, if you had some type of like dental work too, because I had got my wisdom tooth removed and sometimes it's hard to clean back there or whatever with like a regular floss thing so this works really 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 good to get back there if you want to like you know um clean your mouth so i'll try to leave the link to it but the brand of it is called nickel but you know they have different ones on there i forgot how much this one was i think it was like probably probably like $30 or something, but the prices vary on Amazon. You just have to read the reviews, but I know I wanted a black one. I know they have like white and pink ones and all that, but I just wanted a black one. So yeah, this one is really, really good. Um, and usually I'll just use this. Um, I'll use it before I use my, the mouthwash, if that makes sense. Cause like sometimes the mouthwash, the mouthwash don't be enough. So you can use this, um, before you do your mouthwash. So yeah, that's pretty much what my what I use for like oral, oral hygiene. I think this is like my favorite product though, because these taste really, really good, y'all. It's like they taste good enough to eat, but don't eat it because it's like toothpaste. Even though I'm pretty sure it wouldn't harm you because it's like natural, but yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'm back and I had like some sort of a dilemma this morning. So I had came in the kitchen, right? After I had got done talking about um like oral hygiene and stuff, because I wanted to fix some breakfast, but my problem is like, I just never be knowing what I want for breakfast. So I had planned on showing y'all how I make the truffles, and I was gonna cook two pieces of um, turkey bacon like in the air fryer. But um, for whatever reason, I'm not really sure what was going on, but my trash started leaking, like clear liquid just start pouring out onto the floor. And I had to clean that up, but I only had one, I had to put like another trash bag basically um, underneath it to catch the liquid. Hopefully it's not, I don't think it's draining, but I don't even know what was in there because I don't put liquids in my trash. I try not to. So I'm not really sure what the clear liquid was, but it had like a smell to it. But I had to use my last trash bag, so I had to go out to the store to um, get some more trash bags. But because I stood in line at... Um, well, I didn't stand in line, but I was in a drive-thru. I waited 30 minutes for this. Y'all, the line was like stupid long. Like it was literally coming out into like traffic or whatever. But I just sat there because like once you get in, you can't get out or whatever. So I got, I stood in, well, I was in line for 30 minutes waiting for food. But after I got done getting the food, I had went to Family Dollar to pick up the trash bags. And of course I had picked up some other stuff too. But I picked up some air freshener because I needed some more. But I really like the clean linen air freshener. This is like really the only one that I go towards. Like, because it smells like really clean. Like it actually smells like you just got done doing laundry, but you didn't. But yeah, I had to get some more of those, of that. And then I got um, this, um, what is it? Why is there hair on here? Ew, I don't know whose hair that is. If I would have seen it in the store, I would have not gotten this. It probably was just somebody who picked it up, but um, it's a palm soap brush, but you put the soap in here and then you scrub it. I needed something like this. 
And I also got some more disposable gloves. So like when I clean or whatever. And my nail broke off as soon as I got into the car, y'all. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to feel like making no chaffles. Um, so that's cut out. And of course I found some nails y'all from Kiss. Uh, I told y'all Kiss has like the best press on nails. I found these randomly. They had a pink pair too. Um, like with the French tip, but I think these are so, so cute. Um, I feel like these are kind of like the same ones that I had. It, I know it was like in a box like this. But I forgot what kind this one is that I have on. But they're from Kiss. But this is the Sculpted Neon. And these are the extra, the extra long length. So yeah, they had a pink pair. I was kind of torn in between the pink and the purple. I didn't, write, I didn't really like the shade of pink that they had chose for the other ones. But I didn't want to do something like purple because it's like spring or whatever. So I plan on putting these on to today sometime. I don't know. I really want to just take a nap, honestly, because I had to clean up the spill that was back there. And I was going to show you guys, too, the vitamins that I take or, like, the supplements that I take, too. I was going to do that this morning. But since I spent, like, a whole hour just to go to two places, now I'm tired. I also picked up this polish. I wish it was, like, regular gel polish, but these are actually really good. Um, I got like a light blue. What is this called? It's called Splashy, but they have some really cute spring colored um, nail polishes there. I just picked this one up. This was like $2. The press on nails were actually $8, y'all. And I feel like you can get like two wears out of this. I'm not really sure. But the way my nail beds are set up, like the size of them, I, I won't be able to do that because my basically all of my nails are really the same size except for my pinky and thumb i wish it you know had some type of variation to it but they don't they're like literally the same size so i'd be needing to use like um two or three sizes of the same set that's why i like to get my press on nails from like amazon because it's like more in there but usually when i buy something like this y'all it's like one wear for me because i can't fit the other sizes so but to me, I get my money's worth because I wear them for a long time. Um, I had these on for like about going on like two weeks or like um, a week and a half. So that's pretty, you know, pretty good. It's not like I had to spend like $40 for like a full set or whatever from the nail salon. Um, I also got, I don't know why I got this y'all, but for some reason it's like, these look really good in the store. This was like the last box, but zebra cakes. And I'm kind of concerned that why would I be craving a zebra cake? I haven't had one in so long, but it's like I still remember what they taste like, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I'll be eating one. I probably will later on, but it just looked really good. I wanted something like sweet for later on. Get lost, man, I'm not to blame, man. This fucking industry is cut, though. I'm not the same, man. And I can let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing at the bags. Now I got a game plan. And I'm out here with the group. 703 I5.